everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for cancers sun moon and rising if you're interested in any private consultations look at the description box below you'll be able to find my contact information on there also if you're trying to support my channel uh, I have the patron link at the bottom of the description as well so let's get into your reading cancers for the mid-month of August 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages? Clear messages for cancers regarding their love lives for mid-month of August 2017. Okay, this is my last shuffle. Okay, let's get into your reading, Cancers. Okay, your first card, Five of Wands. Whoa, Karma card, Six of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Partners cards, the Lovers, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Fool. Center issue, the Ace of Swords. Okay, Cancers. A center issue, there's a need for the mid-month of August for truthfulness, being honest, either you or your partner one or the other has been lacking um it's kind of like that feeling of well i never lied to you no you didn't but you never said the whole truth <laughs> so the ace of swords is the center issue how you will be able to move forward with your partner is if you are completely honest and transparent to them this is a general reading so it could represent you or your partner so this has to do with the fact that you were getting too much attention or your partner was getting too much attention. As this, these are your cards, this is how you view your partner. So either your partner was extremely flirta uh, flirtatious or there is a lot of inner struggles within yourself that have to do with your lack of confidence, Cancers. You have the Karma card. The Karma card is definitely... Uh, having to deal with past emotions, having to deal or face a lot of uh, fears from your past that you've suppressed for quite a while now. The Six of Swords is definitely talking about having the opportunity or being given another opportunity to move forward. But the only way to do so, again, I do want to stress this, is coming to them with truthfulness and honesty. 100%, okay? Without a doubt. The Six of Wands, uh, sorry, the Six of Swords is definitely a representation of being given the opportunity to move forward and to start anew. Now, you do have the Four of Swords here. So there's definitely, uh, for some of you guys, there's definitely a pause in the relationship or you guys are currently going through situations where you don't really trust one another and there is a need for meditation or a need to pull back um, this can also symbolize that you have in fact already pulled back or there has been lack of communication like one or the other is kind of ignoring the other person and it's not that they're doing it purposely to hurt you or for you to hurt them but it's more so because this is needed meditative type of energy is needed to ground yourself now how are your partner views the situation they were put in a situation where they had to make a choice the lover's card is being at crossroads Perhaps something that has to do with the past um, behavior from you. So this could be either you or them. Okay, keep this in mind. It is a general reading. Uh, so again, being at crossroads, having to make a choice based on the fact of how you treated them or how they treated you in the past. The nine of pentacles is actually embracing uh, being single. Uh, so again, like I said, if it has not happened already, uh, more than likely by the beginning of September, you guys are going to start experiencing these type of scenarios, uh, either contemplating or wanting, basically wanting out, or um, the idea of being sparked about, is it better for me to walk alone, basically, because it's becoming too much of a hassle at the present time. Now, they do have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is looking very clearly at the situation. So again, the Eight of Pentacles can also represent you coming back into their life or them coming back into your life, asking for a new opportunity and them looking closer at the situation, uh, trying to decide if it's uh, best to move away or start uh, give each other an opportunity and start fresh all over again. Now, there is very highly, for those of you guys that are currently not dealing with the partner or the person you were with, um, the full 
Aquarius is definitely talking about the possibility of a new beginning, starting a new chapter. Um, is very highly it can also represent because you they do have the lovers card here and the full card uh, basically being at crossroads the decision is going to be you know if they can show me that they can be honest to me and be loyal to me then I will you know uh, be excited and as the full go in with blind faith okay but keep in mind, not so much blind faith as they are already wondering or trying to test if you can actually prove that you can basically back up what you're saying or what you're offering, okay? So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos if you want to, or if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, and we will see each other uh, from each other soon, okay? Bye.